going on? It's Marty here, my damn channel, and I want to do a real quick product review. Um, about two hours ago, I purchased this pressure washer from Lowe's, and it is a 2700 psi, uh, 2.3 max gallons per minute. It has the Briggs and Stratton Professional series engine on it, 7.75 foot pounds of torque, 175 cc. Uh, I don't know what the horsepower is on this thing, but if you go back here, I want to show you the sticker, maybe, with that serial number information on it. And it says it's made in the USA and has some type of special service maintenance thing with Lowe's. And I purchased this because I was impressed with how well it looked like it was made, and it looked kind of cool. Nice powder coat finish, um, gas engine, blah, 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 blah. But if you're looking at getting a pressure washer, I would recommend not buying this one. I use it for about an hour cleaning my deck. And it just, and quit. It just quit running on me three different times. The first time, it happened about an hour of running. And then I was like, what's going on? So I double checked to make sure all my oil levels were correct. I uh, had fuel in it. Checked the air filter to make sure something wasn't, you know, I didn't remove some type of protective sticker or something off the carburetor to block airflow. Nothing like that. So I was like, hmm, maybe it just got hot. Maybe it's got some type of, you know, built-in shutdown when it gets overheated. Nothing like that. So I let it sit and made sure my water was on really good and strong. Had plenty of water pressure and yes I know I was had the water on before I started the unit so that's not an issue well started it again 10 minutes later it died started it again about eight minutes later it died uh, so I was like well I'm gonna do some research online I went to like four different websites I went to Lowe's website read some customer reviews and went to a website called uh, consumercomplaints.com and there's like four or five pages where people are complaining about this and uh, a lot of people were saying how Lowe's was giving them a bunch of crap about returning the unit. Uh, as far as having maintenance done to it, they wouldn't honor the warranty, and blah, 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 blah. But luckily, my Lowe's is cool as shit. And there's a lady there by the name of Jackie. She told me that I could bring it back. She'd give me my money, no questions asked. Which is really a shame, because I really like this pressure washer. It, it's a sharp-looking little piece of gear here. And uh, But if any of you all are in the market for a pressure washer make sure you do your, your uh, homework first and I would recommend steering clear of the Troy Brill I've not even been drinking any beer yet I would steer clear of the Troy built brand for one it's not Troy built it's uh, Briggs and Stratton bought the name and have just been slapping Troy built name on it and putting their engines on it so apparently the problem is in the water pump there's some little plastic internal pieces that fail quite easily or something like that from what I was reading and it just causes the whole thing shut down and I'm not spending the money to buy upgraded parts or the time fixing this thing when it should be working out of the box and it just kind of pisses me off that something that's got you know made in the USA tag on it that big and it's such a piece of crap um, so anyway you're looking for a pressure washer steer clear of the Troy built brand and so now I really don't know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take it back and get my money I don't know what kind of pressure washer I'm gonna get next but I am gonna be doing my homework so uh, boys and girls I uh, hope your spring is uh, turning out pretty nice and uh, I think that's it if you got any questions or comments please leave them in the question the comments below uh, I'd like to warn other people buying this crap so uh, I'll talk to y'all later